Heather Slusser here with the University of Wisconsin-Madison Division of Extension. Today, I am joined by Jackie McCarville, the Green County Agriculture Extension Educator, to speak about the fact sheet that she helped co-author, entitled, Deciding When a Dairy Cow Starts Her Second Career. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Heather. Thank you for having me. In your fact sheet, you talk about body condition. I was wondering if you could explain what this is and why it factors into when a cow starts her second career. Body condition scoring is an evaluation on a one to five scale on dairy animals. Places that are evaluated for condition or fat cover include the top line, rear view of the hocks, side view of the area between the ho hooks and pins, and the cavity around the tail head. Thin cows with poor condition are often, often discounted at sale barns. Evaluating the cows for body condition scoring and locomotion prior to shipping a cull cow will help determine which ones some condition could be added to, which, gives, which helps get a better price at the market. What is locomotion scoring? Locomotion scoring is based on the observation of cows standing or walking. You place special emphasis on the cow's back posture. A cow with normal locomotion can stand and walk normally with a level back. They will also make long, confident strides. A cow that is moderately lame stands and walks with an arched back and makes short strides on one or more legs. A cow that is severely lame has pronounced arching of their back. They are more reluctant to move and almost completely transfer the weight off of the affected leg. They are very noticeable in a barn with, if you see them. Who should be selected for feeding out? Feeding out cows that are thin with a body condition score of less than three, but are still very healthy and mobile, should have a greater ability to increase their value compared to cows that are already well conditioned. These cows can be put on a feedlot type, type diet consisting of mainly corn silage, corn, protein supplements such as urea, possibly some haylage if a farm has it, vitamins and minerals. In order to change the body condition score by one point, there needs to be a weight gain of 150 to 200 pounds for a Holstein breed type animal. Obviously a different breed, a smaller breed will take less. What are the economics of getting a cow to her second career? Obviously, farmers need to consider the risks and potential net return for retaining cull cows longer. They will need to consider if they have enough feed, labor, housing, and bedding. We have to remember that it'll take about 10 to 12 pounds of feed per dry matter basis to one pound of gain. Typically, you can figure about a three pound weight gain per day can be used when you're thinking about how much feed to how much feed it will take. This means to achieve one point of body condition score increase, you will need about two months to, to be feeding these animals on the farm. Utilizing the diet I just got done talking about, it would cost about $2 a day on a relatively conservative grain type diet. If you choose to feed them a higher grain diet, please remember that you'll need an adjustment period of two to three weeks to get those animals accustomed to a more, more starch in their diet. Additional costs would also be occurred on bedding, labor, and housing. And you can figure in a roughly about 75 cents per day for those things. Depending on what the market price is and your other feed and yardage cost, will determine if feeding them out will give you a gain or a loss. Obviously, well-managed animals will have a better potential for additional returns, but as always, there's financial risk when adding condition, condition to an animal. Thank you, Jackie, for being with us today and sharing information about your fact sheet.